introduction and uh, for the invitation to participate in this uh, forum. My name is Ignacio Pidawa. I'm uh, the project manager at the Industria Chimica de Calón. And I've prepared this uh, presentation, which title is uh, Sustainable Chemistry through the Revalorization of Industrial Byproducts. So <clears throat> let's just start with a brief introduction to, to, our, com uh, to our company. Uh, Chimica del Nalón is a family-owned company uh, which was uh, established back in 1943. So next year we will be uh, celebrating our 75th uh, birthday. Uh, and we are mainly focused, our core business is the carbochemical sector. Uh, basically what we do is transform coal into uh, in materials uh, like uh, coke. Uh, coal tar and also uh, byproduct is uh, gas. In this picture, you can see our factory uh, close to here in San Miguel Andreo. Uh, this is our coke in oven battery where we produce coke and, and also generate gas, which is uh, transformed into electricity. <coughs> and the other product that we obtain here is the coal tar, which we transform through. Uh, distillation processes in our plant in, in Trubia uh, into uh, added value products like technical oils, naphthalene, anthracene oil, and uh, coal tar peach, which is our uh, best selling product. And uh, it's also worth mentioning that uh, most of our revenues comes from abroad, 60% uh, of our Incomes uh, uh, comes from exportation. So we are proud to say that uh, we are technology leaders in our market since 1943, <coughs> and within uh, within Kenya alone, we have um, and the R&D group. The R &D de <coughs> department is called Nalon Tech, uh, and uh, uh, we can say that uh, within this group, we uh, developed. Uh, our own uh, proprietary technology uh, to operate our plants uh, with, uh, with our own technology. Uh, this group uh, closely works together with a scientific advisory board. The members are shown here. And we have a, an international collaborative innovation network uh, uh, based on collaboration with, close collaboration with the uh, enterprises technology centers and, uh, and universities. <coughs> and the main uh, fields uh, of uh, uh, R&D in, in nanotech are the development of advanced carbon materials. We are focused on uh, working on the development of carbon fibers precursor, precursors, nanofibers doctor called tarpeed pitch, and graphene and graphene and der and derived products. Processes uh, with uh, CO2 as a uh, feedstock and biomass extracts. And the other, uh, uh, the, uh, the other, uh, we are also working on the development of nano materials. Uh, and uh, we are developing uh, smart textiles and packaging within this group. Uh, electrochemical sensors, we are working with companies to develop this kind of, uh, of uh, materials. Uh, uh, materials for wood treatment, cancer treatment, and water remediation. This is a picture of the pilot plant we've uh, developed for for manufacturing uh, nanomaterials. <coughs> uh, Nanotech has a long experience in developing industrial and pre-industrial uh, pre plants for R&D projects. And here you can see some pictures of our pilot plants. This is where we Mm, developed uh, carbon fibers precursors. This is a picture of our pilot plant for nanomaterial synthesis where we can uh, prepare uh, uh, metal nanoparticles and metal oxide nanoparticles. This is a picture of our pilot plant for anthracene and uh, oil bead synthesis. And this is where we can prepare uh, blends of uh, uh, with, uh, with 
And finally, in this introduction, uh, the Nanotech Human Resources uh, is formed by a highly skilled labor force. We have two different groups, one focus on quality control and R&D, and the other is more focused on process and engineer, with several um, doctors in chemistry, engineers, and, and chemists. So moving forward, let's talk about our core business and the R&D activity within the, the group. So the core business of Clinica de Nalon, as I mentioned before, is uh, the valorization of byproducts from a uh, coke and coal carbonization process. Uh, the main product of the carbonization process of uh, coke and coal is coke, which is used for different uh, applications, as can be seen in, in, in here. And besides coke, and during the process, there are uh, two different byproducts. One is, as I mentioned before, the coke open gas, which is transformed into energy in a, our own operated uh, power plant. And the other product is high temperature coal tar. And this is where uh, uh, we have our main uh, activity. Uh, we transform the uh, coal tar from the coke in, uh, carbonization mm -hmm. process into added value products like uh, benzene, toluene, uh, saline fraction, naphthalene, uh, other technicals, oils, anthracene oil, and, and pH. Uh, basically, most of the coal tar uh, we use in our production plant is, uh, is bought from the open market. We don't have the capacity to fulfill our, our capacity with the production mm -hmm. uh, of uh, with, uh, with our own coal tar, so we bought it from the open market. And uh, basically, what uh, we do is to transform coal tar into intermediate products uh, with higher added value. That's a core business. In the next slide, I will show you uh, the R and D projects we've been working on, and we are actually working in the two fields, two, in the two main. Uh, uh, R&D fields, which are advanced carbon materials. In this case, you can see that all the projects we've been working on. There are projects, uh, European projects, national projects, but also regional projects in different fields, like carbon fibers, environmental and biomedical sensors, carbon chemistry, synthesis and applications of graphene, and biotechnology. Some of these, in some of these in the projects we are using a, a speed stock uh, um, uh, some byproducts or residues from other from other industries like here for example we get use of uh, CO2 as a precursor for production of acrylic acid or uh, I'll focus on this project later on uh, uh, project wood camp uh, where we are trying to get uh, uh, to prepare added value by products obtained from forest feedstocks. Uh, uh, within the nanomaterials work, we are also working on different uh, R&D projects. In this case, na uh, national projects from Celestia and, and regional from IDEPA uh, to prepare uh, uh, nanoparticles for applications like smart textiles, smart packaging sensors, construct, construction, and smart coatings, biomedical and, and by environmental, like uh, we are using nanoparticles in here for industrial water remediation, which is, can be also a good example of a, a cycle economy. So um, right now I'll focus on the, uh, some of the projects where we are uh, uh, making a revalorization of uh, industrial byproducts. In this case, I'll talk about a project called Wood Chem, where we are developing a synergic, proce a synergic process uh, for chemical extraction and wood valorization. The idea is starting from wood or, or, or byproducts coming from the wood industry and transform uh, in a bio in two different roles. One is the extracts, the additives or the chemicals, and the other is the uh, finished wood with improved properties. Uh, in the extracts flow, uh, we are trying to obtain lignin, 
tannins and hemicellulose for different applications, bioasphalt, antioxidants and other things, and surfactants or EODS. Uh, and on the other uh, uh, flow, we are the, the main goal is to obtain finished uh, wood with improved properties. Uh, with the extraction of these chemicals, you uh, improve the hydrophobicity of the of the of the wood. So you improve properties like um, uh, weathering resistance, or even uh, increase. You can increase the the power output uh, well, in, in, in combustion. And you are, you are able to to extract it in. Uh, we are. Uh, working on, uh -huh. on, on that here, we are. Mm -hmm. That's uh, one of the goals. Uh, it's, it's, that's yeah, one of the goals. This is a different process than the standard ones. Oh, okay. Okay. Usually, the industry uh, is taking lignin from wood, yes. right? But they they are focusing in uh, in wood digestion. Yes, in the right. But it's our target is way. not to digest the wood okay. because, yes. uh, uh, for our point of view, wood is a is a is a value product. Right, yeah. um, this project works on improving wood properties, improving wood yes. quality, mm -hmm. but okay, with different processes that we are able to extract lignin, hemicellulose, tannins, but it is a quite selective extraction, let me say enzymatic extraction. Wow. <laughs> Because in the traditional uh, extraction or biorefinery processes, the wood is almost destroyed, so yes. in, in this case, the idea is to. to, to to conserve the wood, okay? That's it. Yes. So uh, there are different activities in this uh, in this project. Uh, first is the identification of the of the resource. Uh, where can we get the, the wood? Uh, how abundant it is? The second step is the extraction of the, of the chemicals from the wood without destroying the mm -hmm. properties. Then uh, from the extract, we have to make a separation and a concentration of the extract uh, of the chemicals and, and then uh, transform those products into uh, valuable products. For identification, here in this um, map, you can see how the, the wood resource is focused mainly on the northwest of the Spain, so it's a uh, we are right here, so it's a good. Uh, which kind uh, of trees? Which kind of trees? Mm -hmm. uh, well, mainly eucalyptus. Eucalyptus, you know, you know, pine wood. Pine wood. But uh, there's a lot of eucalyptus. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. Do you know what? Do you have it's very abundant in the because there is a, a paper factory uh, which uses a lot of this uh, uh, kind of wood. So the second step is the extraction of the the chemicals from the wood, but uh, with the goal of uh, reutilization, we, we want to get use of this uh, material. We don't want to destroy the, 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 the wood itself, but we want to uh, even improve the properties of, uh, of, of, of wood. And uh, once you get uh, the, the extraction, uh, you have to separate and concentrate the, the additives you are extracting from, from wood to different techniques like filtration or reverse osmosis. Uh, finally, the goal is, uh, as I mentioned, revalorization uh, of the products obtained, which are mainly tannins uh, for uh, uses as antioxidant or a tannin of leather, lignin. So uses as uh, agglomerant uh, and hemicellulose for uh, <coughs> or, or, or DODS. And the final step is the scale up of the, of the, of the process from the concept of the pilot plan for the biorefinery to novelly to the final construction of the, of the pilot plan. <coughs> 
So that's for all for the wood can uh, uh, project. But there are also some other projects we are working on, or we've been working on, where we uh, uh, go through a revalorization of industrial byproducts, like in this case uh, in agriculture, we are making a catalytic uptake of uh, CO2 by all the things in order to make uh, acrylic acid. Uh, here uh, we are doping uh, with uh, carbon fibers. Uh, Tar pits for stream applications. In this case, the idea could be using uh, methane uh, or even biogas as a raw material uh, for producing this carbon nanofibers. So we are uh, making a revalorization of a, a greenhouse effect uh, in gas. And finally, uh, it's worth mentioning the project uh, really where we are using the same raw material as in the project with Ken. Uh, we're using uh, linocellulosic products uh, and we are studying the interaction with, uh, with pitch in order to obtain uh, uh, for energy uses and uh, the development of new high performance materials. And finally, I'll, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, our R&D uh, strategy. Uh, in the work in nanotech. This is a, uh, we call it a nanotech R&D tree, which roots are our core business, uh, both cake and, and carbochemical industry, where we have uh, synergies, but the branches, and we are actually focused on three main technologies, nanotechnology, uh, advanced carbon material, and as you've seen, uh, biorefinery. In nanomaterials, we are focused on different uh, applications from wood uh, to water sensors and KC. And advanced carbon materials, we are focused on um, carbon nanofibers, graphene, uh, and also CO2 trapping. And in bio refinery, the goal is uh, trying to obtain sugars for different applications, and we are also working on uh, considering. Uh, new technologies for extraction, like uh, supercritical uh, extraction. Uh, which is our strategy? Uh, the main goal of our group of Nalum Tech uh, within Chimica and Alon is uh, diversification through an open innovation approach. The core business of Chimica and Alon and our current market uh, is, uh, uh, or the products developed through this uh, open innovation process which combines internal and external knowledge. All those products that go to our current mar market are commercialized under Nalong. Uh, but But uh, Nalong Tech is mainly focused on new markets and even other thin uh, markets. We are interested in, in licensing agreements, uh, joint venture agreements, uh, joint development agreements uh, for uh, new and emerging uh, uh, markets. Uh, we operate uh, in our now tech group in our innovation department uh, uh, using this, this network. We have a scientific advisory board formed by experts in different fields, we'll talk about that later. But we are also close, uh, uh, work very closely with enterprises and technology centers. And as you can see here, an example of uh, national and international uh, uh, R&D centers and, uh, and enterprises. Our approach is uh, working on R&D uh, and this work is uh, working on collaborative uh, R&D projects. Uh, we always try to include uh, the final uh, customer in the project consortium and we also try to work with uh, technology leaders in the, uh, among the technology centers and, and universities. Uh, finally, in this picture, uh, we can see our scientific advisory board formed by experts in, in advanced coal materials and uh, in carbochemistry, biochemistry, industrial chemistry, 
uh, catalysis and organic chemistry. Unfortunately, Professor Barwenga passed away last year, mm -hmm. but uh, we still uh, work together uh, with uh, with his group uh, very closely, very closely. The other two people are there. Sorry? The other two people are there. The other is the, yeah. are the owners of well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so family, family owned. Yeah, sorry. Well, 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 yeah. It's a secret. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> for sure. yeah. <laughs> sorry for not mentioning, but no, they, no, are, okay. they are the, the owners. <laughs> and finally, uh, so why uh, is uh, King Granaloma I mean that, why can we be an industrial partner for R&D? These are the main reasons. Uh, we have a, a strong uh, financial and business position. Uh, we have uh, industrialization and scale-up cap capabilities, know-how in rich and CLP policies and regulations, long experience in the chemical business, wide knowledge in carbon materials and nanomaterials, National and European R&D projects, we have experience in working on these uh, consortiums, and an extensive uh, collaborative innovation network. So, thank you all for your attention, I'm open to it.